Yo, Johnny Bubbles here. I'm super excited. The custom battle is finally here going down. Yo, shout out to British Customs. I have them here in my corner today. My coach, thank you for teaching me everything I need to know, boss. Appreciate it. I'm about to body it. As you already know, I'm going to be doing a Marvel theme on these Air Force One highs. I don't want to waste any more time, so let's just get into it. What's going on, guys? Vic Almighty here. About to smash this custom competition. Johnny's been talking a lot of shit, so it's time to put him in his place. Today we're going to be working on these all-white Air Force One highs. My custom theme is uh, DC. It's going to be freaking awesome, so let's get started. I already went ahead and took out the shoelaces, so the first step is prep work. Round one. Fight! Finish him! Brutality! <laughs> All right, so the soles are fully taped up. All we gotta do now is tape off the sock liner so we can start laying down the paint. All right, guys, now that the shoe's all prepped and has acetone all over it, we'll go ahead and mask off the midsole using two types of tape. British put me onto this thin one that's very flexible. You can go ahead and get it in one whole swoop around the shoe. Then I'm gonna cover that up with this other one, this scotch tape. And you don't have to be as careful as normal. Round two. Fight. All right, so we got the gradient all done on the uppers. Looks freaking sick. So now the next thing we're gonna do is tape off the swooshes on both sides of the shoe and this back piece so we can lay down this metallic hot pink. All right guys, the shoe's looking pretty good now. The base coat is down. Now to tape off these little sections right here of the toe box and on the other side right here as well, I'm gonna do sort of like a drop shadow spray on. It's gonna look dope.
going to talk about my, my shoot, the inspiration behind it. Um, obviously, it was Suicide Squad. The inspiration behind it was uh, the movie poster. You see all these bright colors, the Joker and Harley. I was going to do the whole team, but we only had one day. Um, so, you know, I had to pick the two best, which is obviously Joker and Harley. So, put both their faces on the ankle area right here. Through a Suicide Squad, Suicide Squad logo with metallic color so it could pop some more behind the uh, gradient greenish yellowish turquoise color like on the background of the poster um, through uh, that neon like that neon pinkish uh, metallic swooshes to resemble the song um, Purple Lamborghini uh, you know Purple Lamborghini that came out in, in the in the movie then you got the color shifting purple. Uh, that's supposed to resemble the coat that the Joker wore in the movie, uh, that jacket coat. I don't even know what it was, but that's that's the, the exact same color. Um, you got the J, you got Harley's logo right here, Ace of Spades. And then this side, you got a bunch of um, uh, ha ha's that I freehanded. Came out pretty dope. Yeah, it's actually pretty. Sick. Yeah, it's probably my favorite that's part of the whole shoot. Very creative shoot. that I couldn't have done that. I was gonna, I was thinking about putting up on it, more areas of the shoot, but you know I didn't want to overdo it. Yeah. So you know I just kept it at that, but that's pretty much it. So I want to say shout out to British Customs. He's the one that mentored me, spent his own personal time, paint, airbrush, to teach me how to do this. So he does have his own personal YouTube channel that we'll link below to go follow him. Make sure you guys subscribe to his channel. Let him know that Johnny Bubble sent him, sent, yeah, sent you to him, I should say, right? Go check out his cool stuff because he has some cool videos coming soon. So yeah, thanks bro again, I appreciate it. My I think we man. killed it on this one, you know what I mean? Yeah. So let me go ahead and detail as what my inspiration was. So I already had the idea actually a few months back. Um, I believe Vic and I talked about it, about the color changing paint that I actually, I actually seen on one of Sophie's videos, but that was just like a color to another color or color to color list. I've never really seen anyone go from a color to an actual picture underneath with thermal paint. So I decided to go ahead and do it. I'm not sure, like I said, I don't know if anyone's done it before, but I definitely executed very well. Uh, shout out to British Customs again for teaching me all those stencils. Major, major support. Um, so as you can see, it's pretty simple. It's red and black and with the gray marble underneath. I uh, wanted it to look basic so that way everyone would be blown away when I hit the shoe with the heat gun, So, which I'll go ahead and do now. So when you hit the paint when it's above 84 degrees, it'll go ahead and change and go colorless, which underneath it, as you can see, we have all these Marvel characters. We got Deadpool, Thor, Spider-Man, Hulk, Captain America, and Iron Man. That took like way too much time to do. It took three different type of stencils to do that and it had to be on point or else eyes would be crooked and stuff. Yeah, dude, it was, it was, it was a lot of work, which is pretty, um, which is pretty fun to do, but I, I never want to do it again. <laughs> I never want to do it again. <laughs> but I definitely feel like um, it came out exactly how I wanted it to be. Uh, British really came through with with the stencil work and the idea of having you know all of them together like that Which is cool, but my favorite part of the shoe has to be the Stanley in the back Let me go ahead and hit that one more time That's about it man it was, it was a lot of work. It was a lot of work. A shitload of yeah. work. I hope you guys appreciate yeah. this. I, I literally finished the shoe. Work. I finished the shoe at like two in the morning yeah. and I never want to do that again. Like ever again. I, I definitely give props to everyone who does customs and restorations. It's definitely an artwork and it's definitely not easy. Um, but just like everything else I do, I just kill it. You know I mean? <laughs> that's debatable. Yeah. Well, that's for another video. Yeah. <laughs> but uh, one thing we do want to touch on are our shirts, right? Oh, that's right. Yeah. I didn't wear my shirt because I wore mine. Uh, I wore all mine this past couple weeks. I haven't done laundry, so I had to wear a rejuvenator shirt. But we are giving away a Vic Almighty shirt and, and a, Bubbles. a Bubbles Almighty shirt. Yeah. I don't know how I feel about that yet. This is but... this is ill. <laughs> this is ill. Uh, but yeah, so shout out to Daniel for actually making this and British Customs for bringing the shirt for me. 
Um, the way we're gonna do it is pretty simple. We're gonna post a picture of our shirts on our own personal Instagrams, and all you have to do is follow us and comment below in that picture, and then we'll choose one random winner or two. How many shirts you wanna give away? Uh, well, it depends how much uh, people want to. Yeah, exactly. Sure. It depends no, on how see. many people go and follow us and comment underneath that picture. I mean, if we receive more than 100 or two, we'll, we'll release an additional shirt. We'll right? see. We'll see. Cool. That's, that's, that's about, about it. it. Yeah. Um, yeah, let us know how we did, guys. Let us know. This really took a lot of effort on both our ends. Right you know, there. I know you guys have been waiting for a long time. Everyone here has been asking to see the shoe and they haven't really seen it. So, shout out to you guys for making this possible. Shout out to Vic for allowing it to happen finally. Thank you guys again for watching. Make sure you hit that subscribe button one more time. Follow us on all social media sites. Don't forget to follow Vic and I on our own personal Instagram that will be linked below. I'm Johnny Bubbles, aka Bubbles Almighty. See ya. Boom.